Good morning. Uh, my name is Daphne Cote. I'm a professional artist and art instructor and hopefully you're here because you saw um, my post on social media. Um, I am going to be teaching a drawing tutorial today on how to draw a dog and um, yeah, just to try and combat this whole COVID-19 thing. So this is a family-friendly tutorial. Um, it is live, so you're just gonna have to deal with my ums and so's, because I say those a lot. And please feel free to put any comments or questions into the live chat. That's why I like to do these live videos, is because you can interact with me and give me feedback as we go along. So, um, feel free to put in a little um, note in the chat saying hi and who you are and where you're from. And I am just going to get started. Um, did you go on to um, my social media today and see that there was a post of a image of a, a black and white image of a dog? And that's what we're going to be using today as our reference photo. So um, let's see here. I think I can show you. I haven't figured out how to get it picture into picture. But let's see here. I think, let's see, can you see it? just there's a bit of a delay so I'm just waiting um, yes so you can see it so we're going to be working with this lovely cute little puppy her name is Esme and so if you have your um, phone available or your iPad or some sort of tablet or if you can split screen your computer um, to have that image up. You can go um, on this uh, YouTube live in the comments or the little description below, sorry. Um, there is a link to the image so you can um, check it out there and bring it up on your devices there. and. I have got mine up here and we are just going to flip this whole thing around and get started. So you need um, a piece of paper and let's see here so you can see what I'm doing. So we've got our paper. We have got um, pencils. You'll see that I kind of um, sharpen my pencils in a little bit of a funny way, but here's like a regular pencil. And you can use um, whichever one you want. And, um, and a white eraser. And I cut a little triangle off my white eraser um, so that when I use it, I always have a sharp edge. So you can find out more about how to sharpen your pencils with a utility knife um, to get them nice and long this way um, on a, another YouTube video and I'll post it in the comments um, or in the description after this video is over. Uh, so there we go and I've got my reference um, photo right here. Let's see if I can scooch the computer over. So I just wanted to, um, I know that everybody's kind of stuck at home with their kids and we're all trying to get along and behave and be nice, including us adults. Um, so I thought this was something that we could do together. Um, here's my son just coming down the stairs. Do you want to draw with us? You want to draw too? Okay. So he's gonna come in here and draw along with us too. So I like to, instead of just going right off the table um, with the paper, I like to have a couple of sheets of paper. Um, so
so that it doesn't pick up the texture. So have you ever done that as a kid where you do the rubbings? Um, your, um, we don't want to pick up the texture of the table. This table is a little bit rough. You can see I've got paint all over it and everything. So here you go, kiddo. Here is two sheets of paper. You want a pencil? Yeah, okay. So he's gonna draw along with us. And I'm just gonna scooch this up. I kind of want you guys to see the reference photo, but I want you to see my work as well. Um, let's see here. So, um, was everybody able to get a copy of this image? I sure hope so. And now let's get started. Let's put this here in here. Okay, so we want to start with the dog. So we need to figure out how big is it going to be on our page. So where's your page, kiddo? Right there. Okay, so let's draw a little mark for the top of the head. All right. Yeah. And then how wide is it going to be? This dog kind of goes in a, makes a little bit of a triangular composition, if you use your imagination. So let's start at the top of that line and we're going to bring it down this way and then we're going to bring a line down this way. And you know what I'm going to do? What? I am going to change to a different type of pencil so that everybody can see it really well. Um, yeah, let's see here, I had another one too. Look at this pencil box full of my tools. Oh, there's another one, it's really little. I'm running out of black. But here's the great thing is that we can order them. Okay, so there, you can probably see these lines a little bit better. I'm using a, a Derwent um, colored pencil, but it's black and it still erases quite nicely like that so let's see here so we've got that now let's go and make a little space for his head so we're going to draw a little bit of a curved line like that oh put the other line down yeah nice and then do a little yeah how big is your dog going to be uh, Hey, that's just like my name, Mom. That is just like your name, like the letter A, right? Yeah, you're right. Okay, so let's erase a few lines here. Now, how big is his head going to be? Let's bring these lines down a little bit longer. Can you bring these lines down a little bit longer? Okay. All the way down to here. All the way down to yeah, there? Yeah, try that. Now put it all the way down to here. And when we're first starting, let's try and do some light lines. Don't press too hard. Gentle lines. Okay. And then you're going to make some space for the head. Okay. So let's see here. Let's find, do you see how there's really dark areas and then there's really light areas? Well, let's find some of these dark areas. So we're going to draw this ear first and I'm I'm gonna make this shape you're right-handed kiddo let's use this hand yeah do you want to use that hand do you remember how to hold your pencil yeah you're gonna hold it that way Look mom holds it I'm this holding. way I know mom holds it this way to draw but you can hold it that way if you want to no. whatever is easiest for you that's mm -hmm. what your teacher wants you to hold it hey okay so your teacher at school so we'll do it that way so then we just bring it down to about there and then can you fill in this whole area yeah fill it all in there we go and we're trying to get the shape of the eye and the ear all together and then we're gonna build the other eye and the other ear because their tone and volume shape 
kind of fits together. And you know what? Do you see how it whips around and goes underneath his chin a little bit? Her chin. Yep. And then doo -doo 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 -doo. Yep. And then let's do the other one. So it goes in and around and down to here. Can you fill that space in now? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. This is my bed fan. Yeah? Oh, nice. So you think that you're left-handed today. That's okay. You can use your left hand. Go for it. Okay, so then we have, let's try this little thing over here. We are going to create five squares. And I like to do this at the beginning of a drawing. Now this square right here is going to be the color of our page and this square right here is going to be our darkest dark. So how dark can your pencil go? And this is called a tonal value scale. So sometimes you can do it like up in the corner, but I want to do it here so that everybody can see it. And it's not going to take away from my puppy. So that's the darkest dark and the lightest light is the white of my page. And then I want to make something that's in between those two. So what tonal value is in between those two? Are you going to do the squares too? Yeah. Do you want me to help you do the squares and then you can fill them in? Yeah. Okay. Do I'll do the squares. You fill them in. Okay, so this one here is going to be the white of the page, and this one here is going to be your darkest dark. Can you color that in as dark as it can go? Yeah? Okay, you do that. Okay, fill this in as dark as it can go. And then, from there, you can gauge between this is the darkest dark, this is a mid-tone, and what goes in between there. So it has to be lighter than this, but darker than this. I need to change mine. What do you need to do? I want to change mine. You want to change yours? To what? To darkness. More darkness. More darkness? Do you want to use this brown one? I don't have another black one, but you can use that brown one. Okay. Okay. And then over here, we have the whitest white and our mid tone, and we want to create something in between there. Now, we can also use our eraser. Our eraser doesn't correct mistakes, it's actually a drawing tool. So we can lighten it up a little bit and make it a little bit more even with our eraser. How's the camera shot there? Okay, so now I'm going to create like a little bit of a bib for this puppy. And it's got to be a lighter tone than this. So I need to make this a bit darker, the ears a bit darker down below. And then this little bib here is a mid-tone. And I'm going to draw in and I'm going to draw down because there's a little bit of white that's on this edge right here that I want to leave this space. What are you doing, kiddo? I'm just going You would like this pencil? Okay. All right. There we go. He's got his pencil now. All right, and so I'm just gonna take out this plumb line because it was just helping me measure. And I'll take that out. And I'm gonna take out a little bit over here too because this is gonna be the top of the head and I can kind of see where it is. And I can help to redraw it. And there's some like scoochy little hairs that come off the top. So we can draw those. And then here, would you like to come down a little bit farther to see? 
let's see here. Oh, this one, there we go. To see our drawing a little bit better. Okay. Nice. Oh, you're trying to look at the camera is shooting down here. So if you want to show people your drawing, we just can scooch it over. So this is my four year old's drawing of the dog. So he's following along with us, right? Are you following along? Yes. Okay. Even, Even I what? am this old. Okay. Just put them this way. There you go. Yes. Four fingers. That's how old he is. Okay. So now we're going to look at where this ear goes and it cuts in like this and we're going to draw his back a little bit. And we're going to, there's like this brown or I know he's brown, but it's, it um, looks black and white on this photo, doesn't it? This um, patch on his back. And how much of this shape do we see? So we're kind of drawing this shape and this shape at the same time by creating this line. And then filling that in. Can you fill in the shape on his back? On her back? Let's see. Over here. Look at. Look at, there's a shape on his back. Now, can you fill that in? Can you color that in? All right. And then we're going to draw it down. To his chest and then you know what there's more shading here and there's more shading underneath his mouth that's gonna help tell us where her nose is where the dog's nose is so then we can start drawing in the nose and we can see how much oh look at I'm gonna move the nose over a little bit because there's so much space on this side that I see that is light. So I can manipulate the shape, change the shape of this white area and this dark area and this dark area. So I change my eyes from looking back and forth from light to dark. Are you playing with the cat under the table? Yeah? Yeah. And I'm just thinking about the tonal value. Is it l light or dark? And how big are the shapes of light and dark? And you can start working on some of the hair shapes, like the the texture, pressing in some lines. I still see it as shapes though. And then I can even use my eraser to find some shapes of hair that come down and around and instead of drawing Mommy, the edge so here I'm gonna draw Mommy, I'm so hungry. I know kiddo I'll make you some more food when I'm done this video okay <clears throat> even could you make me some even could you make me some watermelon yep I can. So I'm now drawing parts of the background, but I'm th just thinking of them as light and dark shapes. So I just fill it in. Could I have oatmeal though? Sure you can, but you're going to have to wait, kiddo, okay? Okay. Oh, right. It's a really interesting time having all of our children at home. 
there, creating some outlines so that, or some background tonal values so that we can see our dog, our puppy here. And I leave some areas up at the top here for her hair to fluff up. So it's almost like I get to redraw the whole dog when I do the background. And I'm going to draw the shadow for where she's sitting. And by drawing this shadow, I'm actually drawing this leg. over a little bit. Mm, I'm going to bring it over a lot actually. I see that when I make a line straight down from this dark part here it leads all the way down to her legs so right here. So that means that we can have a paw right here but that this comes a bit further over, making more space for this back leg. It's all crunched down. There we go. And then I can work on the tonal value going up and back to that ear so that it all lines up. And then I'm looking at this dark space. And all the crazy fluffy edges. And then this space, which isn't quite as dark. Are you coming back to draw with us a little bit? foot sticking out right there that's really quite light. She's got lots of fluff on this puppy. And I want to make this a little bit darker so that it really feels like it's coming down and in. And so then I'm just going to keep working all over, working on the shading, making it a little bit more accurate as I go along. Nope, not right now. I bet everybody is going through that right now. You just want to play I video games. We'll see, okay? I think I'm going to make you some. Didn't you want some oatmeal? Yes. Okay, well, let's stay focused then. So, I'm just going along the edge and now I'm starting to really look at the details. I'm trying to get the edges of the fur in, a little bit more of the shading and the texture. And I just can switch back my tools between my eraser and my pencil. And then just keep going. Um, is 
anybody have any questions so far? Um, and tomorrow I would like to do another one um, with pencil crayons. So let me know what kind of supplies you guys have at home. And I think that everybody's bringing home their pencil crayons from school. So we'll have those available. And I'd like to do a, a colored pencil drawing of um, a daisy. So I will send out the reference image again on social media and I'll have a link on my um, on the YouTube live feed so that you can get it beforehand. Um, oh yes, you're showing your dog. Oh, what a nice dog. Do you want to add some more? She, that puppy doesn't have any legs. Where is its legs? You want to put some legs in? Well, I, I can only see dog. three legs and a few toes. I don't want to. You don't want to? That's okay. You don't have to. I don't want to draw. Okay. That's okay too. All right. He just wants oatmeal. He doesn't want to draw. All right. And now I just want to get a little bit more. I like having more focus into the eyes here a little bit. So how's everybody doing for speed? Is, has my speed been okay? Am I going too fast or too slow? Um, I do appreciate the feedback because I want to make every video better. And it's really hard when I can't see your faces and I can't see you in person and I'm used to teaching people in person. Um, but this is the way it's got to be for a little while. So we're going to have to learn some new techniques and some new ways of communicating and some new ways of connecting. But I think we'll all be the better for it. I know it's given me more perspective on life and things that are important. And I hope it has for you as well. And I really appreciate that you could join me today for this drawing. And tomorrow we'll be back doing some colored pencil work. So that's uh, March 19th, uh, 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So have some paper and your pencils and we will be coloring and drawing some flowers. And if you have any questions about drawing or if there's some techniques that you'd like to learn more about, um, please let me know. Um, reach out to me on social media. Um, I'm going to post this video all over social media today, um, so please um, share it so that more people can see it and more people can draw with their kids and get inspired and, um, yeah, have a little bit of creativity in their life. So drawing and being creative um, is a really interesting and cool tool because we can use it in ways to become meditative, to calm our minds, especially if we're feeling high anxiety. Um, and it also helps us to rewire our brain a little bit so we can actually produce new thoughts and come up with new ideas. So that's why a lot of creative people, not just in the arts, but in design and in science and mathematics and um, all different areas of life um, carry sketchbooks and when they're coming up with ideas they write words and they do drawings and um, then you can start to think of things not just 
with symbols of numbers and letters, but also in visuals, in drawing the things that you see around you and studying um, life everywhere. So uh, it's a really interesting and valuable tool. And so hopefully um, when our kids go back to school and when we go back to work, um, we might be a little bit more skilled when we go back. Um, and maybe we'll have some um, new ways of working and maybe a lot more of us will be working from home a bit more. Um, who knows? Who knows what will happen? But uh, I'm really interested to see and to find out. So I'm just making him feel a little bit more grounded or her, sorry, a little bit more grounded by putting in some more tonal value around the feet, some more shading. And people ask me when is a drawing finished or when is an artwork finished? It's when if you put any more into it, it might wreck it. That's the best way of knowing if it's gone too far. So a lot of time, a lot of the times, um, people just don't take the artwork far enough. So it doesn't have to be super detailed or anything. And everybody has their own individual style and ways that they like to do things. Some of it is really detailed, some of it isn't, and that's okay. Um, but you just want to take it to the point where if you think anything else added to it could make it worse, then stop. And that's a good stopping point right there. Um, so look at this. This is one of my favorite little tools and it's quite funny. It is a um, electric eraser. So it's got a white eraser on the end and it's just a fun little tool to zip around with. And with this pencil that I'm using, it's a little bit harder to erase than a normal pencil. So this kind of helps. Isn't this puppy fun with all of her hair? Yeah. All right, so, um, oh, thank you, Michelle. Um, I'm just reading some of the comments right now. Um, I hope that everybody had fun this morning mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. learned a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, here we go. We'll just move that into the middle. Hopefully you can, you know what, let's move it a little bit this way. Here we go. And, oh, oh my goodness. I'm losing my camera. makeshift setup there we go so there is our little puppy make sure you put your name on it and I like to put the date so I remember when the heck it was that I did that and I hope that you enjoyed um, enjoyed this drawing session and again I'm going to be back tomorrow March 19th um, we'll do a live again and it'll be in colored pencil and we'll be working on flowers so check in on social media um, to get the reference photos also I've been posting a lot of articles on and things about um, different museums that have um, online coloring books coloring book images that you can use and um, the different art galleries and museums that you can visit virtually online. So um, go through my social media and hopefully you can pick up on some of those things which are great ideas and tools while we're um, stuck at home trying to feel connected and trying to educate our children um, and trying to keep ourselves sane. So again, um, I am good. Woo, Archer. Thanks, bud. Um, let's turn that off there. Thank you, kiddo. Um, again, I'm going to be on tomorrow morning. Um, I also want to tell you about a, um, another thing that I am doing, which is 
a class, an online class with more technical skills. Um, and it's going to be about drawing, about shading, about perspective. And what we're going to do is it's a four week class. It's going to be on Thursday evenings. And here we go. So that you can see me. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Um, so on Thursday evenings, starting um, this week, uh, we are going to, I'm going to have some live um, online classes that are a little bit more formal. Um, so for teenagers and adults who are wanting to do some shading and um, learn some technical skills of drawing so that you can draw everything around you. Um, so it's based on representational drawing. We're going to be looking at um, perspective, drawing from photos and drawing real objects. So if you want to join in on that, um, please send me a uh, email and we'll get you registered info at daphnecote.com and we can register you for that uh, four-week course so and I'll be um, posting that on social media here quite soon yes <laughs> so thank you very much for joining me this morning I hope you guys have a great day keep the creativity up um, there's lots of resources out there and thank you for um, joining me this morning and choosing um, this resource uh, to help get your day started in a creative way. All right, have a great one. <laughs>